In today's short share video, I'm going to cover a piece in Daniel chapter 7 that many people have believed forever is a picture of the Lord when he comes feet down on the Mount of Olives. Well, you're going to see the clarity of that today. And what it's going to prove is that, in fact, as Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, with a prophetic understanding in typology, you're going to see Paul tells us above 14 years that pre, mid, and post are all true. What I'm going to show you in Daniel chapter 7 and prove to you by going to the Synoptic Gospels with Luke, Mark, and Matthew is that, in fact, Daniel chapter 7 is the Lord coming at mid-tribulation at the time of the end of seals. Let me show you this. Let's go into Daniel chapter 7, and we'll begin in verse 3. It says, and there were four great beasts uh, that, fr that came up from the sea, diverse from another. The first was a lion. The second was a bear. The third was a leopard. The fourth was great and terrible and worse than the rest, and he stamped the residue with his feet. This is when the Antichrist in Revelation chapter 13, which I'll show you, gets the power and authority to continue 42 months. So about two and a half years in to seals, he's going to get his authority to continue for 42 months. Here we see the beast, which is the fourth one. And it says that he was like a leopard, had the feet of a bear, and had the mouth of a lion and that the dragon gave him his power, his authority and great in the uh, great seat. So then we go down and we see in Revelation 13, 5, that he gets to now continue 42 months. So this is about, you could say, mid seals of the first seven years of tribulation. Now let's go back to Daniel and read what it says when his time is up for the time being. We see in Daniel chapter 7, verse 9, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head was like pure wool. His throne was like a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him, and thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. That's the pre-trib group. The judgment was set and the books were opened. I beheld then because of the voice of the great words, which the horn spake. I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. As concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time. Verse 13. Here it comes. I saw in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man coming, uh, come with the clouds of heaven. And he came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people and nations and languages should serve him. Now, most people believe that this is Matthew chapter 24 when the Lord's coming on the clouds. Well, I'm going to show you this. We did a short talking about this not too long ago. Let me show you the different comings of the Lord because there are three comings of the Lord. And in Matthew, uh, sorry, in Luke chapter 21, we see at this coming of the Lord, when they shall see the Son of Man coming in Luke 21, verse 27, he's going to be coming in a cloud singular. This is the pre-trib. Marx says in Mark chapter 13, we read in verse 26, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in, it's the same word, the clouds, plural. We just did a share, like I said on this. It, it's fantastic once you understand the differences in the Gospels. And to understand this more, visit ministryrevealed.com, click on the menu box, and go to the first four videos of the intro series. Or from our YouTube channel, go to the playlist, the Revealed End Time Study Notes series, and watch the first four videos. So 
we see in a cloud singular. In Mark, we see in the clouds, plural. And Matthew tells us, let's go to Matthew chapter 24. At the coming of the Lord, it says, and they shall see the Son of Man, verse 30, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in. It's not the same word anymore, okay? This one is on the clouds, plural. <clears throat> so Mark was in a single cloud. Mark was in plural clouds. And Matthew is on, not in, plural clouds. So let's go now to Daniel chapter 7 and see exactly what he's saying. There's the Ancient of Days. There he is. Daniel 7, verse 13 again. And I beheld one like the Son of Man come with the clouds of heaven. Let's see this word with. The word with means by, from, like, with. So we go deeper into the root word of it. That's why a program like this, ESORT, is so great because you get to have the Strong's Concordance and the word definitions at your fingertips. Let's see what it says. Go a little bit deeper, and we see it means in. This is not on the clouds. It means in the clouds. So we can read it again, Daniel 7, verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man come in the clouds of heaven. And he came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion, glory, and a kingdom. Brothers and sisters, this is the mid-trib, Mark chapter 13, when he is coming in the clouds. This is not a post-trib. When you start to understand more clearly the differences in the Gospels and who they're speaking to, you will understand Luke is pre, Mark is mid, and Matthew is post. This is the Lord coming, as you see in Revelation chapter 6, at the end of the sixth seal, verse 16 says, And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. Well, who did we see in Daniel on the throne? That was the Father. And from the wrath of the Lamb. You see, the wrath of the Lamb. The Son is now there as well. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? You see, what happens at this point? You go to Revelation 7, then you see the 144,000 sealed, then you see the great multitude rapture, which no one can number, and you go to Revelation chapter 8, and then it's the seventh seal. This great multitude rapture is mid-trib in the seventh year of seals after they will have seen the Lord coming in the clouds of heaven when the Father is there as well. That is the revelation and the understanding of Daniel chapter 7. But I'm going to take it a little bit further for you now in Daniel chapter 7 and show you something else that confuses people. When Daniel's given the interpretation of the vision, he's then told in verse 25 of Daniel 7, and he, uh, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and he shall wear out the saints. You see, Revelation 13, right? The, the saints now, they, they must endure of the Most High and think to change times and laws and shall be given unto his hand until, and they shall be given unto his hand, until a time and times and the dividing of time. What most people haven't understood here is they believe that this is the same one as Daniel chapter 12 or as Revelation chapter um, 12, verse 14. But it's not. This dividing of time is not time, times, and half a time. It's time, times, and the dividing of time. This word of the dividing of time, you see that? Like a half, but this isn't the half of the other ones. 
This is the dividing of time. Why is this different than half a time like the other ones say? The reason is this is the end of seals. This is the end of the Gentile age. The fullness of the Gentiles has come in in the seventh year of seals and Mark's gospel is over. Then we'll begin the final seven years of what the church has understood as the seven years of Jacob's trouble. This is why if we go into Psalms chapter 110, which is a picture, which is a picture of the Lord now here, watch this, when he will now be, see it says, the Lord said unto my Lord, so the Father said unto the Son, sit thou at my right hand and until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord, Father, shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou, now listen to this, in the midst of thine enemies. If Jesus was only coming one time at the end, how is he ruling in the midst of his enemies? We go down to verse four, and it says, the Lord hath sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. This is when Jesus will be high priest and king at the beginning of trumpets after the end of seals. You saw him coming in the clouds, remember? So now he is going to be the one ruling in the midst of his enemies. And that is the period when they will begin to rebuild the temple, the city and the streets in the first half of the seven years of trumpets. Psalms 110 verse five says, the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. Wasn't that exactly what we were just reading in Daniel? You see, brothers and sisters, Daniel chapter seven is all about the time of seals from the first attack of the lion, which will bring the destruction of Jerusalem. And then the bear being World War III breaking out everywhere. The leopard will be the control center taking place that will have this dominion controlling over the earth until the beast rises and he's given the power and authority over all three of the previous ones. And he will rule for those 42 months until the end of seals, which is why we see them hiding in the rocks and in the mountains and saying, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of his wrath is come. It seals. I pray it blesses you. God bless you. God bless your families. For more on this, as I said, visit ministryrevealed.com, the introduction page, or visit our YouTube channel on the playlist, the Revealed End Time Study Note Series, and watch, in either case, the first four videos. God bless.